Hey, welcome back to Learning Self Reliance. My name is Roland, and today I wanted to show you guys how to generate your own one time pads. Uh, this is the part two video for the communication encryption for preppers video I did a couple days ago. I'll include a link to that um, video below. But in that video, I encrypted a message using what's called a one time pad. And uh, I talked about how you needed to generate a unique one for yourself and your group. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So I made it really simple for you. And what you do is you go to learningselfreliance.com slash one time pad. And I'll include a link uh, down in the description below so you guys can go to that. But this page here is pretty cool. I programmed it myself. What it does is it generates a uh, unique one time pad every time you visit the page. So if you need several different one time pads for some reason, you can go ahead and click refresh on, on your browser and it'll generate another unique page just for you. Down at the bottom, I've got a description uh, talking about what this one time pad is. So uh, with that and the one time pad cheat sheet, you can sit down with your group and you can teach them how to do it. And uh, if you're not very comfortable with that, I included a link at the very bottom uh, to the video I did previously showing how to use this. So this is a short URL. So if you type that in, to your browser it'll take you over to my video and it'll uh, teach you how to use it okay this one time pad here i split it up into several different messages so you've got nine messages on this page that you can use and uh just a quick reminder if once you use your message once you need to cut this off and burn it and not use it again okay if you use it more than once people will be able to decrypt your communications all you need to do to use this is go to your print dialog pull this up and uh, it should all fit on one page for you, okay? Which is pretty awesome, worked pretty hard on that. If it doesn't fit, one thing you can do is you can select, let's say just the messages or maybe half the messages, something like that. And you can go back to your print dialog and this is Google Chrome. And if you click on the left, more settings, you can choose selection only. And you can see it's only printing off the uh, messages I selected. So if this page doesn't automatically fit completely, on your printer paper, you can uh, select what you want to print off. But again, at the bottom here, I have a little link to the video, which is going to be on every page. So people can uh, type that in and it's a short link. So it's not hard to type in. They can just type that in, take them right over to the uh, video. I showed them how to use it and uh, also make sure to include the one time pad cheat sheet, which is over here. This is really important. Uh, it really simplifies things, and I've got some simple descriptions here about sending and receiving these messages. So that's it, guys. I made it super simple. You just go to this page, and it's going to generate a unique one just for you. And uh, these aren't stored on my server or anything like that. So if you need more than one copy of this, you can either photocopy it uh, once you print off a page, or you can just increase the amount of copies that you're going to get. Okay, so make sure you get enough for one person for each of your group or, or, or uh, each family in your group or something like that. And uh, make sure they got the one time pad cheat sheet and maybe sit down as a group and go over the uh, instructions in my previous video and uh, learn how to do it and make sure you can encrypt properly. Okay, guys, that's it. I wanted to make this nice and simple for you. Go ahead and visit this page, print off what you need. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.